Let us see what's going on. Lettuce. Lettuce. Gross. Pop that out. Um, get rid of that. So, I think we said that we had two more. My switch controller's turned off? Hold on. Oh, no. Are they doing that thing again? Because you had them plugged into the switch again, right? Those... I don't know. I think for some reason it doesn't charge on the switch anymore. It's charging on the, the dock I have. Hmm. Okay, let's go, buddy. Get up. He's like, I was sleeping. But, um... Are you the Pokemon's on there? Oh, you are. Yeah, I'm gonna call you. I'm gonna summon you. Hold on, I'm looking at what we got left to do. Yeah, we have two Starfall things left. Yeah. So we're gonna go to the... We're gonna go to the fancy talking guy last. Yes, the fancy talking guy. So anyway, what'd you do today? Honestly, I don't know. I don't feel like I did anything. Time just passed. Yeah. I felt really bad because I've been spending a lot of time outlining this new story I thought of, but I really am like... I feel like I want to get it down and have the full outline completed because part of the reason I never finished the other story is because I didn't do the whole outline, so I'm trying to, like, rush. All I'm gonna say, even if you think the ending is trash of your story, get to a point where there's an ending, because you can start writing your other story and go back later and edit that one. Maybe. But if you don't finish it, you're, never, you're just gonna keep saying, I never finished it. Yeah, that might happen. <laughs> and why are you writing? Well, I, th I don't know. I th why do I have to finish every story I start? Uh, I mean, I am of the opinion that if you don't finish it, you're only you're edging yourself essentially. Okay. Like it's pointless. Like, like if even if other people never read it, you should still make it have an ending. So who is? Oh, that must be the... yeah, the I don't remember if I'm healed or not. I found a so gimmick here. Me when Ronnie uh, doesn't finish her stories. I don't understand why you're being mean to me. I'm not being I'm mean to you. I'm very understanding about your writing, and you, I just started writing literally this August, and now you're being mad at me because I didn't finish a whole book in three months. You wrote 70,000 <laughs> words in like a week and a half. It, it was longer than that, but I mean, I, who knows? I might go back to it. It's really early. I don't you, know. Where did you go? To the one near the base we were going to attack. I don't know where that is. Well, maybe I don't feel like telling you. <laughs> Alright, I'm, I'm gonna mad. go to the fancy talking guy. I'll see you later. <laughs> okay. <sighs> oh, that removed destination. We haven't been to any of these Pokemon centers? No, that's probably the reason we didn't go to the fancy talking guy yet. Ooh, Gengar? 52. Still get one hit. Yeah, I think we probably need to be in the mid 60s for like Elite Four. Hmm. I mean, we're almost there, I think. Is that a Venomoth? That is a Venomoth. Do I have you? Oh, wait. I didn't want to use that anyway. I want to use this. I think a ton is like, uh, Megan. Yeah, are they? Yeah. Why? Because they're supposedly cute, but then they'll kill you. Venomoth getting the goddamn ball. Do you fight this person already? No, but I saw a Venomoth and I didn't have one, so. Ah. I'm gonna bully it. I'm going to use foul play. 
I thought that's what it was Bronzong, called when you forgot to brush your teeth. Bronzong is really strong. Uh, Ultra Ball. I hate when Quick Balls don't work and you're like... <sighs> yeah. No, I've got to do it the hard way. Did you see that Link's in the background? Or Shinx? She's hanging out! She went like... when it worked. They're happy to see another Pokemon other than them captured. Being enslaved. I saw a student up ahead. He was all done up in the most outrageous pro wrestling outfit. It was absolutely splendid. I think that's who we're trying to go fight soon. Oh yeah, he's a Luchador, isn't he? I think it's a she. She. I mean, maybe it's a he. I actually have uh, no idea. Did you know... I guess the, uh... The ice gym leader we fought? Not Rhyme, the other one with the scarf. Mm. I guess their, uh... Pronouns are... He, him. I did not know that. We got a, sl a shiny Slack King. <laughs> the not Terra, shiny, but yeah. he's a yeah, the Terra one. I think that's or is this this isn't Slack King, is it? It's the middle Slack one. Slack off. He is balloon type, ghost type. How weird. Why do people insist on riding motorcycles? I I hate all of you. Oh, it is Slack King. There's like a whole gang out there. No, it's just a bunch of people with small dicks. Like, isn't there like a noise ordinance in the city or something? I don't know. Go away. Motorcycles look stupid. People who ride them are stupid. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. It's like, I'm already driving a combustible prison. Let's take the do the walls off so I can get hit harder. It's uh, it feels like everybody around us wanted to start off the New Year's extra loud. For real. It was like very loud, like the last few days even. Bro, can you just get in the ball? The Heracross is staring at me, and I don't like it. Rude. Okay. Got him. Good guy. World's most slothful Pokemon. However, it can exert horrifying power by releasing pent up energy all at once. You're telling me he's more slothful than Slowbro? More slothful well, than. Well, I me? guess Slowbro is. What about Snorlax? Not slothful, he just doesn't move around. What about the Pokemon that's literally, like, always dreaming? Ah, uh, Heracross! I thought you before. Don't think I've heard Harmony! Before. Hey, what's up? Oh yeah, today's the the VGC and TCG stuff going on. Wait, wait, Harmony! Oh, Do, I don't know if you have um uh Among us. better TTV enabled, but if you do, there's a Kirby emote now. Uh, the, okay, so this is the first tournament that's being played with the new Pokemons? Yes. Oh. Well, if you ever enable it, there's a Kirby emote. Caught Among Us? Beware of poisonous spores it releases. Okay. You get out of here, you fungus. Heracross, get in the damn ball. <clears throat> Kirby! There's some good emotes, too. Haven't caught you yet, either, huh? Prepare to be got. Prepare for trouble. And make it double. To protect the world from devastation. Bye, Sharp! Hell yeah. <laughs> wow. I caught him right away. Air cross. Ooh, crunch! Wait, didn't I have that before? That's a dark type of bite move that can flinch. Aw, oh, damn it. I didn't want the critical hit! Versus 95. The higher the target's attacks at, the greater damage for foul play. Or crunch, which may lower the target's defense stat. 
I, I think I'll keep foul play. I, I, don't, I like taking the chance. Okay with me. Pokemon commands a group of several Honyard? Groups that are defeated in territorial disputes are absorbed by the winning side. Oh, okay. God. <laughs> Damn. All right. They're eating each other? Wait. I'll get yeah, Luna. Luna. Now, is there a king or queen one of those? These are obviously chess Pokemon. Yeah, could think you have a whole new. chess team? Yeah, exactly. Can I get, like, Knight Nightmon? That sounds like you a mean Digimon. Mon? <laughs> Gallantmon? Nightmon is a Digimon. And, and so is Gallantmon. I know, and that's why I said Gallantmon. Look at them! He he, this thing is not scared at all. <laughs> They're just chilling. What the heck is that? It's a Jinx fish. Get hammered. The other thing, I do want to play Dragon Age. I think that's the best game to play. But um, the other thing I, we've talked about playing that we haven't done yet is uh, Mass Effect. Yes. Which I also love the Mass Effect games, and those are both made by Bioware, and I always just call Mass Effect Dragon Age in Space, because that's what it is to me. But, and I like, I love both of them. Um. So I would be down to play them eventually, but I would rather replay the Dragon Age games yeah. than, than Mass Effect. I've never played either, and I'm down for um, Dragon Age. Um, I am getting more and more tempted to try the new One Piece game, because people like have had doubts about whether it's going to actually be fun. Because like, I just think anime games don't usually work well. Mm. I think they work better on like Game Boy and stuff. Gotcha. Um, but they're so confident that people are going to like this game that they're giving you a week to uh, download the game and play the first chapter, and then you'll be able to uh, transfer your data to if you buy the full game. Okay. Blanca. Get lit. I got so worked up, the sweat was pouring down my back like a cascade. <laughs> Why does that sound very strange? It sounds like a Rihanna song lyric. I was gonna say, it made me think of my neck, my back. <laughs> my pussy and my crack, you know that My one? Rihanna and my crack. <laughs> That's not a Rihanna song. I- but... I know. <laughs> or- no, it's not. Okay, I see a golden item. You see me being in an eternal battle with the T-Sharp? I, I do see you doing that. And I'm ignoring it. And I'm seeing if- Oh my god, I've sunk to the bottom. You're dead. Okay. See if there's a secret behind these waterfalls. There's not. I'm just getting pushed into the water. Did I catch you? Yeah, I did. You oh guys god. just chill out. They're rattling at you. I don't want anything to do with you. Just chill out. You know what I was thinking about earlier? What? Basically, today I forgot to eat. I ate a bagel, and then I fell asleep, and then I didn't eat again until we had dinner. And I was starting to get, like, a little bit of a headache from not eating, but I knew we were to eat in, like, 20 minutes. I mean, same kind of. I just ate, uh... My normal breakfast. Oh, I forgot to heal. Yeah, but you survive on much less calories than I do. Uh, although I did eat a little piece of cheese while you were- I bought some more of the baby bell cheeses and I ate mm. it as you were doing your little meeting. Um, but I was wondering, you know, like, when you know that your headache is being caused by hunger, so you eat, right? How long does it take for your body, in general, to relax from, like, you know, having that headache to not having that headache that now you have? I don't know. I feel like it's almost instantaneous a lot of the time, like, with water or food, and I don't know if part of the reason for that is that it's like a... Would it be called pseudo? Like a pseudo effect? 
because you your bot you in your mind know I'm about to I'm like drinking or eating this thing that's gonna make me feel better, so then you immediately start feeling better, and then later the effect, real effects can maybe like a well, it's not really a placebo. You're right, but placebo. Like, that's yeah. Well, a placebo would be like I gave you fake water, you drank it, but you still felt hydrated. Mm. So like yeah, it's more of like a pseudo like, but like I don't know. I was just wondering, like, if you were had a, like a hunger headache and you ate, how long between body, your your body noticing, right? Yeah, Leaf Storm sounds really cool, but it could have a negative effect on me. But it's power one thirty. You know what? Sure, let's replace Energy Ball and do Leaf Storm. <laughs> Air Frost, I killed you last time on accident. I guess there really are fungus among us, he said. <laughs> Don't attack If me. I saw that cricket, I think I would cry in real life. Right? They're scary. Chasing me. Oh my god! I don't even know. <laughs> Come on, man. Well, now you must die. Because you've decided to challenge me. Extra potion. I got here before you, so I've already fought most of these people. Yeah, because I was fighting the dragon people while. Oh, I saw hair across, I think, but then they yeah. disappeared. There was a few. Oh, there's one. Please. <laughs> oh my god, it's so tiny! Do I have you? I don't think I have that one, the baby version. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I do have him. Oh, maybe I do too then. Uh, or, well, you were here first, so you might have ran I'll it. see you in hell, Fungus. Fungus. Hello! Hello! Oh, it used Solar Beam! Oh! Hey. Hello! Mom. Welcome to the party. Welcome in. Ronnie said she's not gonna finish her novel. Can you stop gaslighting me, please? I'm making you finish what you started. <laughs> I li I've i literally only been working on it for three or four months. Yeah, we are playing Pokemon. Is that the Evolved Shanks? Uh, is it Luxio? Hello, you're coming with me? Yeah, while working a full-time job... She's writing another story without finishing the first one. planning vaca uh, vacations and doing the- having a social life and... <laughs> what? And? I've got- I'm multitasking! It's my Multitasking take is not the same as just- You it, don't know how to, like, you don't- you, You're not disciplined enough to keep working on it, so you skip you know, to something else. You're making me want to not finish it just to spite you. <laughs> Streaming! Exactly. I can already tell you, like, almost every other author would tell you the same thing as me, so... Well, if they could just say it a little bit nicer. <laughs> I've said it nicely multiple times. And Norn Guru. <sighs> exactly! Everyone has their own way of Wait, doing things. What? This cricket is like on- oh, he left. He was like grinding on you. Okay, I just heard the door shut, so I had to make sure neither of the cats were trapped in the closet this time. Smokey! Yo, what's up, Smokey? We're doing good. We are doing good. We're just hanging out, chilling, playing some Pokemon. Apparently Chansey spawns over here. Do I have you? It's Saturday. We were super lazy today. I kept telling myself I should go do things, and I just didn't do anything. Yeah, me either. Nice! Nice! You said- I think last week you said you had made... 
substantial progress, right? Oh, uh, come out here with that weak Pokemon game. Shoot, I was so busy thinking about bamboo that I didn't focus on the battle. You like bamboo. Me too. Who else we got around here? My phone wanted us to know the Sabres game is starting soon. Okay. Hello. Yeah, we're both playing right now. Yeah, it's on the on the Switch and we are both playing it on our own Switches that's right me, now. That's me, oh, and God. that's Rodney. Just need Pokédex and the last Terror Raid to unlock Incinderace when it comes out. Is that the bunny one? Mine, mine looks like shit again. Yeah, it looks weird. Oh, okay, that is that one. I was like, I think it's that one, but I, I'm not super familiar with that gen, so... Try something on mine. I avoided the attack. Get dodged. Um, I don't honestly know if you can rent games. Like, I, uh, like maybe. Ah! You, you, maybe what you could do is, like, go to GameStop and then return it for, like, almost full price or something? Yeah, I don't think renting games really exists that much. Gamefly. Oh, oh Gamefly does there exist! There you go! Gamefly. I forgot that place existed. Oh, that's not your Pokemon. I thought that was... Nope. <laughs> She's just back there. Mine has about. a much bigger hammer. Get out of here. Ah! But yeah, I mean, we're both playing it together. You can't really, like, co-op together unless you do tag team battles. But you can, you know, play the story together and walk around. Local mom and pop shops. Yeah, if you got any movie... I don't know, does Redbox have games? I don't know. I've never actually used Redbox. I, I, I think I used Redbox, like, twice. When it like first came out, because I was like, yo, this is so cool, we're gonna use this all the time. And then I like never used it because Netflix already existed. So. And now Netflix is becoming toxic. And now Netflix is, yeah, dumb. So. Redbox got rid of games. Oh, okay. Can you get out of here, you cricket? Bam. Back to the base. I'm just. Uh, pointing myself. Ah, oh, who the heck? Oh, it's Ndidi. Hi, Luna. <sighs> I'm very tired today. There's no real reason. Yeah? No yawning. <laughs> No yawning allowed. Yeah, you're gonna make me sleepy. Get ready for the hammer. The, a bird's number one enemy. A big hammer. I think a bird's number one enemy is mankind. Well, I meant more like Tinkatun's lore is that she literally knocks birds out of the air with her hammer. Yeah, she's got like a vendetta against a very particular bird. <laughs> Just the one kind of bird, though. She straight up hates, uh, Corviknight. Yeah. Oh! I almost ran into you. You jerk. Didi. Okay, it is. A, it says she for the. Okay. The team star. So team. I think I caught in DD before. I I, I have I yeah. had one. Yeah. I'm just going. Hold on, let me look at the map really quick here. 
I found a big nugget of gold. Oh, okay, okay. Go, go goat. goat. Yo, that's me. That's I don't know if you can see the uh, the emotes I'm using because they're like you have to install something on your computer for them. Oh yeah, they might not be showing up. You have to have better Twitch TV. I should see if there's a way to enable them on iPhone. How dare you? Go goat. I'm confused. You're down there, um, but you're also up here. Oh, I I guess I'm fighting from the cliff for some reason. <laughs> Let's see. Better Twitch TV iPhone. Can you just get in the ball, please? I'm everywhere, exactly. I'm everywhere, everything all at once. Oh, okay, so you have to download a special app to enable it on your phone. But then <sighs> you get more emotes. Alright. Wait, I can also see you down there! Yeah, I see, I'm everywhere, just like my mom said. Alright, this goat is making me bring in the mice. Stop bulking up. Get super fanged. Super fang. Super fangy. Oh right, I forgot that you keep using that healing move, which is gonna make this really difficult. Get super fanged again. Just have to hope you're not gonna heal yourself. Uh, you did. Okay, you're gonna kill my mice. So freak you, you freaking goat! Do do wild Pokemon run out of yes. moves? Okay. That means I just have to outlast you. The best movie of 22? Oh, everywhere. Everything all at once. Yes. That was pretty good. It's like in my top three for sure. I, I love that movie. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay, fine. I'll switch Pokemon. I don't even know- Oh, sorry. I forgot what I was doing. I was trying to fix my screen for a second, but then I realized that we share a screen currently. Everything is super effective against you, you stink. Okay, I'll try- I'll put in Sprig. I'm standing on the mountain before we descend, waiting for you so we can go oh to a new God. area together. Okay. Yeah, I'm I mean, I, everything, everywhere, all at once. Well, it might be my favorite movie of 2022 because Drive My Car was 2021. Was Licorice Pizza? I have no idea when we saw that. Oh my god! Can you just stop? I'm about to kill you out of Licorice anger. Licorice Pizza was 2021. What else came out in 2022? Except for, um, uh, Sonic 2. Finally. I don't know. You can sense the feelings of others by Digimon did come words. out. <laughs> Pokemon. We're, we're talking about movies. Well, I guess there was probably Digimon and Pokemon movies. Glass Onion. Um, I mean, Glass Onion was I really still good. haven't seen the Banshees of Inishirin, which... Oh, you know what? I lied. Nope. Nope is probably number one right oh, now. Oh, Nope was really good, yeah. Um, and then everything, everywhere, all at once is maybe a close second. Oh, um... Nope, then men, then everything, everywhere, all at once. I forgot about men, too. But I haven't seen the Banshees of Inishirin, or however you say it, which will probably be... Number two, if I thought. Am I going back towards the... Yeah, I think you're going the wrong way. Alright, I'm gonna fast travel to this... Spot? I'll just fly over there. 
gonna go take a little heal up but right here. I do want to go see Megan because apparently it's really good. It's good at rave reviews, that's for sure. Is it good? That's questionable. People are people are reviewing it well, highly. How could it be bad when she dances on you? I mean, I imagine it's gonna be. It's more like good because it's bad kind of thing, like camp, right? Maybe. Like if she killed me in the default dance stop. Sound has been fixed. Okay, now I gotta sell all my stuff that I got. Certain class of gourmand. Can I sell it or is this like a quest item? I'm trying to read Ronnie's lips. She was saying that she wants to go get dessert. I thought you were about to say she wants to finish her book and I was going to be like, I'm going to fucking strangle you right now. <laughs> oh. I've defeated four trainers. Damn. I need one more trainer. What a rip off. Oh, wait, there's it's some the rage thoughts. <laughs> Ronnie's a very violent person. I'm not, but you're pushing me. <laughs> Look, you can't be mean to me. I'm the only one who put away our luggage. I have to do laundry. Yeah. And I have to clean because we have guests coming that I will say no more of. You know, you like that. <laughs> The rage. Exactly. I'm an Aries, okay? I can't help it, according to my horoscope. <laughs> I don't even know anything. All I know is I'm a Sagittarius and a monkey. I feel like the Sagittarius thing often tends to be that, like... I feel like you guys are usually, like, the wanderers, or, like, you tend to be, like, your head's in the cloud to the point where you don't really care what is happening around you kind of thing. I am Gemini and I'm dating a Scorpio. Ooh. I don't know what that means. I just made that sound. Gee, easy's a Gemini. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah. I, I feel like Gemini, they get a bad rap a lot because it's like the, the twins, I think, is that one. So it's like a dual personality, right? I guess. And then Scorpios, I think, are kind of like Aries. They get the rap of being like really mean. Because we're always like, I'll fight you kind of thing. So Like this lady? Yeah, like this lady, exactly. She's got a crown on. Not many traders can shrug off my Pokemon's attacks like that. Peter's a Gemini, and he's so chill, right? So, it's all made up. Same to you, Aerie, was it? Your Pokemon have clearly spent a lot of time honing their moves, but I'm surprised to find the boss herself out here defending the gates. Don't you trust your grunts enough to put them on guard duty? Watch your mouth. I'm here because I don't want to risk anyone else getting hurt, that's all. What a benevolent boss. Now if you want to get on with our battle, I'm already on my side. Uh, get a closer look, I guess? Yeah, let's sneak up on him. Who are you? Ronnie, there you are. I started talking to this girl since so she looked like she was a team star. Then she and her Pokemon came at me without warning. We were just battling it out. Riri, I knew you'd be out here. Carmen? Riri! Are you okay? You're not hurt, are you? I'm fine, honestly. Now get away from here. It's not safe. I'll you take know what's not safe? Base, Riri. Be in this fabulous in these glasses. <laughs> no, I won't back down. I can't. Oh, Riri, you need to stop this. Until the big boss comes back, I have to protect all of you in the cap squad. Calf squad? Calf squad? Everyone else in Team Star, too. That's why you should get back to the base and rest up, even just for a little bit. As the boss of this squad, I I just can't. Which oh, one? Oh, the Pompadour? Clives? Riri, please, I'm your friend. Listen to what I'm saying. 
Fine, I'll go. I'm sorry, Carbon. Hey, that's no way to sign off. Let me hear a hasta la vista from you, nice and loud. Hasta la vista! And then the Arnold walked out. I'm your opponent now, you two. Come on, I'll take you both down. Hey, Ronnie. My Pokemon are actually running on empty after that last battle. Sorry to spring this on you, but do you think you can handle this grunt alone? Yes. I can, absolutely. No problem. Thanks, I'll be cheering you on from the sidelines. I'll protect Riri with everything I have. You ready to battle? Are I am you so ready? ready. Then here I come. You ready to feel the hammer. Carmen. Ronnie okay. is wearing that knit hat. Yeah, that's me. I'm wearing the rainbow knit hat. I, it's like, I don't, well, that's one thing I didn't really like about this game is you can't change yeah. your outfit, so I can, you kind of have to accessorize to get some personality. I'm gonna do this all with uh, Tinky Ton. Doesn't matter. She's gonna take them all down. Super effective. Yep. Get affected. Our two Pokemon just were like, then perish. Alright. They should really give the guards more than two Pokemon. Even if all I did was buy Riri a bit of time, it's fine. Um, my Pokemon has weapons because they're badass. Yeah, so uh, Tankaton hates a bird Pokemon called Corviknight. And it makes its hammer out of its corpses. It's great. Rotatatato! I take it you defeat the guard out front. Yeah. That base is run by Team Star's fighting crew, the Calf Squad. Their boss, Aerie, is a skilled wrestler and coaches the whole of Team Star in Pokemon battling. Of all the bosses, she'll likely be the most alert to hostilities after our declaration of war. She might try to stop this raid in its tracks by challenging you to battle before anyone else. Yeah, you're spot on. I knew it. Tell me what happened. Well, you see, she was standing outside. She retreated? Talking about the same area, right? Well, it seems there's nothing for it now but to attack the base head on. Ring the bell in the gates once you're ready to kick off this phase of the operation. Time to wipe Calf Squad off the map. They're not gonna have any calves anymore. We're getting those calves. I'm ready. I actually forgot who's my top three. I, I think know. I might have Palafin in there on accident. That's fine. We'll take him out. It doesn't matter. Beep. Code Red, Code Red, Operation Starfall Alert. Everyone get into position. Defend the boss with all you've got. Rest assured, Intruder, we'll deal with you without the boss's help. Unless you manage to beat 30 of our Pokemon in 10 minutes, that is. Good luck with that. I feel like they could have even made it five minutes, right? Yeah, it's like, and the mechanics are a little clunky. Like, sometimes you hit the button and your Pokemon don't come out. Like, right oh, now. I, I'm hitting the wrong side. Get in there, guys. Murder. Can you guys murder? I mean, how how are they going to stand up to Rick Ghastly? My Palafin just absolutely destroyed that guy. Get in there, guys. Although Wednesday's looking a little rough. Wednesday's dead? No, Wednesday's alive, but barely. I gotta find a... a what you call it? Vending machine? Yeah, a vending machine. Palafin's killing it. Okay. Then we got Tinkaton. In Come on! I'm machine. pressing the button. It's not doing anything. Tinkaton, you get in there. I'm going to this vending machine. Tinkaton, you just take everybody on, actually. Uh, there's a gimbal nearby, apparently. Where are you? There you are. Please. I guess I can't pick you up while I'm doing this. That's okay. There's a vending machine right here. Yeah, I, I got it. I got a vending machine already. 
Wednesday is a little beat up already, but that's okay. I guess Wednesday is not that strong. Or at least the things we're fighting in here. Or maybe they just came across an especially strong thing. Get out there, you guys go fight while I do this again. Good job. I like that the music sounds like a My Hero Academia scene. Right. Oh, oh no, Wednesday. Wednesday, how about you just stay back for... Oh man, we still have a lot of... These are good. These guys are a little tougher, I'll give them that. No, the Kraken have the Winter Classic. It's gonna be sick. I don't want my Pokemon to faint because I'm afraid. Since you mentioned the sabers. Pinkaton, you just get out there and you just murder to your heart's content, okay? You just get in there. I gotta look at Wednesday's stats, because I feel like Wednesday is higher level. Why are they struggling so much? Because they're dark ground, right? Yeah. And this is a fighting gym. Oh, well. I'm waiting for you. I had, I had to heal a little bit. Oops. No, the Winter Classic for the this year is Kraken uh, Vegas. Yeah, the EVs and the IVs might be off. Get in there, take a ton. What are you doing? You're just standing there. Alright, good job. I don't think we can hold her off much longer, boss. Car's a Pokemon. Yeah, the car is a Pokemon. All the bosses have a, a car. Oh, I didn't read her text. This is a bear who you are. I'll bury anyone who tries to take down Team Star. This time I roll, won't run away. Rah! Yeah, now we gotta kill their car. She's going Super Saiyan. You're challenged by Aerie. All right, well, I, what I've learned is I need to defeat you with Tinkaton, because the base is precious to us. I won't let this raid of yours go any farther. If I could just straight up attack the car right away, I would do it. Get Toxa noped. Get out of here. You're dead. Annihilate. The ghost primate. Oh my god. He looks freaky. Well, he died because he was so mad. That's his lore. I was like, I don't think that's gonna kill you. Okay. I mean, I wish that the hammer would do some damage to the car, but... Give as good as I get. That's a promise. We'll see who's left standing at the end. Hey, what about some play rough? Is that good? You avoided the attack, huh? Okay, sure, sure. Sure you did, okay. We might be switching Pokemons here in a second. Um, and then, you know, we're just gonna put out Sprig. Even though you might be super effective, I don't know. Oh my god! Okay, well, I guess I was super effective. Well, okay, we're gonna switch Pokemon to... Mousehold? I don't know. <laughs> Look at the screaming at me. Oh my god. I don't like 
like the sounds this thing makes. What the frick? Why are you so strong? Alright, I'm just gonna try and use a move and hope that I get to go first. You avoided the attack, huh? Oh, it doesn't affect you because you're ghost. Nice, normal type. Well, fuck, fuck me, I guess. Got him. <laughs> yeah, ghost fighting is a weird typing. Hey, okay, uh, Palafin? Yeah, I guess I'm in trouble. Hydro pump? You're only in trouble if you get caught. I'm in trouble. Oh my god, the dolphin saved the day. We've done it. I, you know what? No, I, we're gonna keep Palafin out there. Oh. Do you have the move that retreats it so you can get the evolve, the hero form of it out um, there? Um, I do, but I'm, I think I'm still just stronger in its base form against these. Yeah. Oh my god. Fine, we'll do the flip turn. I'll do flip turn. The music is so extra. You didn't die, huh? That's pretty... It's pretty upsetting. Alright, uh... We're gonna put you out, even though you're probably gonna die. Go, Ice Dragon. Oh my god, she's got another one after this? I'm gonna lose! What the hell? <laughs> no! Alright, well, I have to put Wednesday out there, but Wednesday is about to get messed up. I'm basically gonna heal Palafin during this turn, so... I mean, they are level 56. Sure, I'll use a max potion. Wednesday, if you- thank god, Wednesday. If you could live through one hit, I was gonna say, so I could f full heal somebody else, that would be great. Which I'm about to do right now. We're gonna use another max potion, and we gotta think carefully here. I think Tinkaton is who we want to max revive, because I would love to do Sprig, but I think Sprig is too weak. Alright, goodbye Wednesday. Your sacrifice will hopefully not be in vain. We will see, though. I- I might- I might lose. Alright, first we put Palafin in there. And we say, you know what, Palafin? You're a buff superhero now. Go get him. Zero to hero. And we try to use a super effective move. That's fast. Get in there. Alright, enjoy the rest of Owl House. Alright, Lucario. You're dark fighting, right? Or... I don't know. I'm gonna use acrobatics on you because it seems to be super effective. Oh my god, I wanted to kill you instantly, but it didn't work. Live, Palafin! Okay, we're okay. We're gonna use acrobatics again because I know it's fast and it works. Okay, yeah, now we fight the car. Here we go. I refuse to lose, so please lend me your strength. You're doing a really good job at refusing to lose, if I'm being honest. By far the toughest of the ones we fought so far. I wonder, is she the highest level one and like... Maybe the other one is the... Uh, maybe the next yeah. one will be a little easier, we'll see. Look at my superhero. Pelican for the win. You're yeah, really no, they're coming carrying through you. for me this- Oh god damn it, no! They did that to me too. <laughs> no! Okay, please don't be paralyzed. You know what, it's okay, I think, because I think Tinkaton can, can finish it. If if we can't do it this round, I think Tinkaton can do it. Oh no. I'm sorry, Palafin. You really did, you did great. You did great, buddy. Alright. I'm waiting for you, but you're almost there. 
I literally only have two Pokemon left alive, and one of them has like five HP. Yeah. <laughs> All right. You Go could do a max revive. Around. That's true. I could do that. But I'm just instead going to try to end it right here. Oh my god. It didn't die? Well, you're using physical attack. That stamina thing is annoying. I mean, I could try this. I would just try to hit it. <laughs> the guitar is so extra. I've done it. It was a real fight. I didn't think I was going to win, honestly. Woo! I yeah. got lucky. Or you would have had this emote. Mm. I'm so sorry, everyone. All right, we always do the back cutscene. About a year and a half ago. I'm so sorry, I think I went a little too far. Nah, don't worry about it. We're the ones who asked you to put us through some tough battle practice so we can train up. Yeah, but... Truly, you need not apologize, my lady. <laughs> Thanks to thy sage instruction, I am making swift strides towards mastering the art of battle. And I could never have evolved my Pokémon without you, Aerie. Even the big boss said it's thanks to you that we have fighting chance against our bullies. See? Nothing but gratitude. To us, you're the brightest star in the whole team. Hee <laughs> hee! Come on, quit being <laughs> silly. <laughs> um, just one thing. We've been training for four whole hours now. I'm totally pooped. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. You all should really take a break. I'll go for a run while you rest up. My lady, we have... We four have each trained in our turn, but you, our steadfast mentor, have rested not once. I cannot help but worry for thy health. Thank you for your concern, Atticus. But lately I feel like I can take anything, even if I'm really tired or feel like crying. Remember that time we all got together and riffed on the gym badge design to create our very own star badges? Well, I don't know what it is, but just by looking at my star badge makes me feel so strong. Like I want to give him my all. I gave my all, but it wasn't enough. I wasn't enough. The outfit's enough, though. <laughs> you showed amazing strength. Even if the code didn't require me to give it to you, I'd want you to have this. Thanks! Alright! We've done it. I'd like to see you try out my trademark move, too. Here, this one's for you. Close combat. You did use that? Yeah? It was messing up my team. No, you're part of Operation Starfall, but I could tell from our battle that you're not a bad person. The way your Pokemon look at you with such trust gives it away. Do me a favor and look away for a moment. This is a bit much for me to take. I just really... Ah! The low-flying helicopter? It looks like it's all over. Oh, Riri. This is the Team Star member you battled at the gates earlier. I asked her to come along for a talk. So what did you want to ask me? You seem to be on much friendlier terms with Aerie compared to the other grunts. Why is that? Oh, you spotted that? Well, alright, I don't mind telling you. Truth is, I used to hate Riri. Now we're girlfriends. <laughs> she's an amazing trainer and athlete, and she's really pretty, too. It took her no time at all to become popular at the Academy. I was queen of the class before she came along, but then everyone liked her more than me. So let me guess, you started to pick on her? Pretty much. I got our classmates to join in, too. We were all so stupid. But in the end, kids are always fickle, and once the thrill wears off, they look for something new. Before long, the class chose me as their next target and started bullying me instead. I guess I deserved it. But then Riri, she chose to help me, even though I'd been so horrible to her. She told me that she understood how hard it is to have no one on her side. And she invited me into Team Star. Even after you bullied her like that? What a kind girl. She really is, and joining the team has worked out great for us. It's been so much fun. Fun? There are rumors that Team Star likewise engages in bullying. After hearing my story, do you really think that's true? Yes. 
Ah, uh, no, I merely- You- you literally told us you were a bully, and then your bully was nice to you, and now you decided to like, group the bully other people. Mm-hmm. Riri and the rest of Team Star made me who I am today. Please, don't take away our greatest treasure. Okay. Alright, only one more of you guys to beat I up. I heard him. Gimme ghoul. Where is he? He's Gimma and the Ghoulin. Rotototo! Ronnie, it's me. Take it that Airy handed over her star badge to you then? Yes. I see. Without its boss, the calf squad should be a hair's breadth from disbanding. Even Airy. I'm sorry. We're almost there now, just one boss left. The operation has been a huge success thanks to you, Ronnie. And Clive has also performed admirably as your sport. I remember him saying that you're acquaintances. Have you known each other long? I don't know how much time has passed. Uh, yeah, d I, sure, a while. Well, he's clearly a reliable friend. He almost reminds me of the gang back in the day. Which gang? As you know, Team Star was formed by a group of students who were being bullied at school. Shortly after forming the team, these students, none other than the squad bosses themselves, confronted their bullies head-on. The outcome was a resounding victory for Team Star, though you could hardly call it a contest. The bullies didn't even put up a fight, they all bolted from battle the first chance they got. Scared spitless of Team Star, the bullies then dropped out of school one after another. The Team Star ended up the villains of the story. But that's neither here nor there, forget I mentioned it. Now, by your reward, I'll transfer some LP over to your phone. Thanks for the money. How do you have this much LP? So I just have to collecting. I it's called a side hustle. Pokemon okay? parts. <laughs> my supply is gonna come by for my bonus items. Yo, what up, uh, Penny? Yep. Here I am. Yes. Stay in your Pokeball for once, will you? Lick, lick. Ah! So do you think that Coridon or Mirrodin, whatever yours is called, are her Pokemon? I have no idea. They like her. Wow, Team Star went through all that, huh? They just wanted the bullies to go away, but then they became the bad guys in everyone's eyes. What a joke, the students, the teachers, they're all so messed up. Even just one of them had been paying attention when everyone was getting bullied. They had been able to tell right away that Team Star wasn't the one in the wrong. But I guess the big boss was the one who urged everybody to face their bullies, despite knowing how messed up the Academy is. What a massive idiot creating Team Star and just hoping their plan would miraculously work out. Really think so? I'm sure of it. Well, here's your reward. Thanks. Next boss is the very last one. We're counting on you, Ronnie. Like, I don't know how these legendaries play into the main story. Because usually they're like ancestral guardians or something, you know? I wanted to see if there was a giveable right there. Oh, hold on. I haven't caught any of you guys. The story is cool bike. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. It's a cool bike, that's what it is. About to capture your child. Oh, you're fighting that one. I'm fighting that one? Teddy Ursa seems like a Pokemon you would have on your team. It's so cute, but I just hate its evolution. Well, don't let it evolve. Well, I could, but it like, you know, it's not as strong. Oh, I forgot everybody's dead on my team. <laughs> Nobody got experience for that. I saw a interesting um, video recently. Well, it was like a TikTok. People were talking about how they were going to be annoyed if after, like, the new Pokemon main characters, if they don't let their Pokemon evolve. Because, like, it was kind of cute with Ash and Pikachu, you know? Yeah. But, like... And it made sense because at the time there was no evolution for Pikachu, right? No, when it, was, it first came out. Raichu. Well, there is Raichu, but I think Raichu was added later. No, Raichu's a for the original 150. Pikachu just doesn't evolve with all the Thunderstone. Oh. So Ash would have had to force Pikachu to evolve, and Pikachu didn't want to I don't know why. I thought Pikachu was second, or Raichu was second gen for nope. some reason. Lieutenant but... Surge, the third gym leader, has one. Oh, well. 
I don't know then. Yeah, but like it makes sense. Like Pikachu doesn't want to be doesn't want to. Evolve. The hell are you? You're horrifying. <laughs> that thing is scary. But like, yeah, second oh, dad was the Pikachu. Oh, they added the baby. Okay, maybe that's what I'm getting confused. Um, but you know, like it just uh. Yeah, that was the first time we learned that Pokemon fuck. And now they fuck at our picnics. Rude. Where are ya, boss? What's gonna happen to us now? I'm your new boss. Go commit- I'm the boss now! Go commit crimes. Can't ride says sight says what well, yeah no, I get the bike course. one. Nobody ever seems to be riding them is annoying. We also get biker trainers because of it. Yeah, and doesn't it even say in the Pokédex for them that people like ride them, but then nobody's ever riding them? Yeah. I'm just. Oh, gonna... oh Dratini. Oh, I've caught you already. For some reason, I thought that I had it. Wait, I was hoping that Ursa Ring would still be around It here. disappeared when I tried to run up to it, because I oh. caught the baby first. But yeah, you never see people using them. That's kind of the same complaint I have about other things, is like, you never see like a primate in a tree. It's just walking around. Yeah. Alright, where'd you go? I'm inside the Team Star Base. But we, do we want to head, uh, start immediately heading towards... Towards the other one? Can we get there through this team service? It's the other direction, I think. Yeah, you're right. Er, uh, where, where are we? Okay. I'm gonna set... I don't know, I guess this... It oh, would what be the... nice to get to this town. Yeah, Zappico. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna start here. And walk there. So you're heading towards this one? Uh, yes. And just get- just so that we can have that one, and yeah. it's close to the base. And then there's a town over here that we haven't even been to, that is also close by. Okay. People riding in one of the teaser trailers, but I don't know which. You might be right, I have a kind of a oh. memory of that too. Don't attack me. I have no quarrel with you. Cypher and Heracross together would be a scary combination they, they would be. to encounter in the wild. Yeah. I mean, honestly, any of the bug Pokemon that are bigger than, like, your knee, I'm like, what the, what the hell are you? Alright, I've already fought you. This area in general is just very scary to walk around in. I'm just happy that we're not in an area where the little baby ones are, like, invisible. Yeah. Um, what if there was- what if they make a Pokemon based off of Megan? Um, do you mean Jinx? That's- no. Th Jinx is scarier. Jinx is Don't- don't scarier. do Megan dirty like that. No. Have I caught you? Oh! I ran into a- a ghost dog. Caught you? Please pick up this item, so that I may sell it later on to increase my monies. I see you. Oh, who is even there? There's <laughs> a little doggo. No, now you have to die. He's already dead. That's true. I guess I shouldn't. Oh look, that. I can probably just glide all the way. There's a crater over there. Yeah, you probably could. We've been in this area before. We just never went up the whole way because we didn't have to for yeah. whatever we were doing at that time. Glide in. I, I mean, can't see you. You could glide the whole way if the game didn't force you to fall. Oh. Let's, let's see if it does it to me too. 
It does seem like I'm quickly losing altitude all of a sudden. Okay, it doesn't want you to glide over the river, I guess? Oh, there's a Torkoal. Do I have you? Yes. Pick up all this stuff. I feel like we just got the Gorin Valley in Zelda. Yeah? Or Gerudo Valley, whatever it's called. Okay. Do I have you? Are you blowing up? That's a Voltorb. Oh my god. Yeah. I can't remember if I've caught them. I have. Do I have a Doug Trio? Trio Trio. Yes. Do I- I think I have you. I had sure. one. Yeah. I remember I have the Dust Ball. I- I remember in one of the trailers they were riding it too. Or maybe it was like the early release thing when they did the Nintendo, uh, Direct or whatever. Um, Wait, is this the one that I- this was our destination, right? Yeah, I think. Okay. Do you want to go immediately to the base? Or do you want to try and get this town? Or what do you want to do? Uh, whatever you would like to do. Okay, let's do the base. Hold on, if I do that... Oh, so that must be the town right over there. How the heck do I open my Pokédex? Only 11 7 TV emotes? That's it. Oh, hey, Snow. Yeah, I mean, I went through some of them, but Ronnie just like, I was like, what do you think of these? And she was like, haha, cool. I thought, I thought, I don't know. I was trying to get Ronnie to put, to find some for herself. Well, I mean, I could look at them later, I guess. I'm gonna fight this person first, though. Video multiplayer, everyone on the usual one. There's one on the trailer close up with the legendary and some of the regular ones. I don't know if he's looking it up or not. Oh no. My friend is like home alone for the first time in forever because they live with their partner and they're like, I'm bored. They just keep sending me messages mm. and I'm like, well, and I told them to do shots. I guess that's one way to liven it up. Gum shoes? Gum what the heck shoes? is that? Oh, it's the fair one. Yeah, just get skitter smacked, I guess. You avoided it, huh? Think you're pretty tough, huh? Pretty rude of you. Play rough. Oh my god, you avoided it again? They're deacon you. What the heck? This is just rude. Don't worry, I'll cover him. You can't see me because I'm running around in your base, but... I did it. Veronica? I didn't even notice that was there. <laughs> Are you strong? Guess you didn't need my advice. Thanks. Other me. Okay, where are we going? Oh, it was the wrong way. I, I, I started going that way because I saw that lady there. Oh, yes, this is very obviously the way to the Team Star base over here. They live in like a ninja village in the woods? I guess. Um. Rotototo! Come on, Sabres, keep winning. I see you're almost at the fifth base. The secret fifth base. Hold up inside, there's Team Star's last remaining squad. You fought well to make it this far. Thank you, Ronnie. Ronnie, Cassiopeia. Can so I you see made it as well, Clive. Of course, it's the last base. I wouldn't want to miss out on the action. Clive, I owe you my thanks. Your help has been invaluable to the operation. I'm sorry I was so wary of you at first. Well, that's all water under the bridge. When we finish up, when we are finished with this base, will that be the end of Operation Starfall then? Not quite. We'll still need to handle Team Star's secret mastermind, last of all. Do you have any leads on how to find them? I'm hoping they'll come out into the open once all the squad bosses have stepped down. I see. We've come so far. To lose it all. <laughs> Is that the what? lyrics? No, In come. the end, it doesn't even matter. <laughs> 
Don't let me down, either of you. I thought you were gonna start singing Come So Far, I Got So Far to Go from Hairspray. No. Thanks to you, Ronnie, I've slowly but surely come to understand Team Star. I know what I need to do, and I know what my final decision will be. For that, I can't thank you enough. Take care in that base, Miss Ronnie. Uh, sorry for getting all polite there. Don't know what came over me. Alright. Yeah. Okay. Whenever he does the hair flip with the pop door, yeah. it reminds me of the guy from Shaman King. Ryu? Yeah, He's I He's just think. looking for his happy place. I heard the gimmick goal. I did too, but then I got sucked into a yeah. cutscene. <laughs> Do me a favor and go home already, will ya? No, I want to see the boss of the Navi Squad take me to Don Atticus. All right. Like I said, kid, the boss told me not to let any outsiders pass these gates. That includes you. I don't care. I'm not leaving till you take me to talk to Don Atticus. Give me a break, you little doofus. People over there seem to be arguing about something. What do you want to do? Yeah, I'm just going to slowly walk closer every time. I'm not going to say anything. Huh? Oh, great. Here comes another rando to ruin my day. I didn't think grunt work for Team Star newbies would be this much of a chore. Hold on, Mr. Grunt. I think this girl might be Ronnie. Wait, Ronnie? The kid who picked the fight with Team Star? Yep, that's me! Prepare to be raided. I knew it. Oh boy, this is this ain't good. Everyone else in the base is still asleep since we were all up last night playing video games. Hell yeah! Leave her to me, Mr. Grunt. I'll buy some time for you to go wake up the others. This is so good. Yeah, and what's in it for you? Don Atticus will be in danger if no one's here to defend the base. I owe that man my life. Here's my dear compadre. The really bad dub. Shaman King! <laughs> yeah. Look around you, look beyond. And when crisis calls, no one has no, no one has no choice but to rally to those dear to him, no matter the cost. Yeah, I have no idea what you're on about, kid, but thanks for the big assist. Shaman King is a good story. They just never gave it. Even the the remake is also not good because they didn't animate the fights well. All right, you villain. Bring it on. Yeah, let's crush this. Kid. Like it's a good story. It just never gets the adaption it deserves. Mm. Yo, Yusuf. You think this is Atticus's like little brother or something? Maybe. Uh, oh, he's level 30. Gonna go ahead and use the hammer on you. Oh, baby. But yeah, I mean, I'm a big Tao Ren fan, but Faust is my favorite. Brutal. Oh, I clicked on an attack that had no effect automatically. No! Get destroyed. Feels bad killing them. Yeah, we can just bully them. I talk big, but I'm no warrior. In the silence, a gibba ghoul cries. Don Atticus, I'm sorry I failed you. What if Clive walked up and was like, <laughs> and just pushed him over? Ronnie, are you alright? Yeah, I took out this eight year old by myself, no worries. Standing watch, and I heard a ruckus all of a sudden. I got worried that maybe something had happened to you over there. Ah, oh, no fair, you had backup this whole time? Is this boy one of the Academy students? He doesn't look like he's from Team Star. You're right, I'm not a member of Team Star, but Don Atticus is my compadre. I have to see him no matter what. Well, clearly you have your reasons for being here. Ronnie, I'd like to ask this boy some questions. You go ahead and get started in the base. Might I borrow you for a chat, my, uh, my man? <laughs> Don't worry, I won't bite. Hello, fellow kids. Hello, child. Rotatatatoto! Nice work dealing with the guard. Within the base lies Team Star's poison crew, the Navi Squad. Their boss, Atticus, designs the outfits for the team. You could say he has clever hands. The guy's also a bit of an eccentric. 
You can never tell what he's going to do next. So since it's beyond us to projectile or respond to our declaration of war, just take out as many of the squad's Pokemon as you can until Atticus shows his face. Ring the bell on the gates once you're ready to kick off this phase of the operation. Time to wipe Navi Squad off the map. So we're going to bully these people. First, I'm going to go find that Gibbagool. It's right there. Okay. I like that they're- wait, I want to see their wall. <laughs> oh, there's a fence there. I was like- you just walk around the side of the wall. Alright. I'm ready. I like reading uh, lines for people that talk like Atticus does. Like, I think it's really fun. So I'm excited to battle him. <laughs> Get in here, take it done. <laughs> Even the smallest stars can light up the sky when they shine together as constellations. That's beautiful. We're the last bastion of Team Star. Losing isn't an option. Hey, kid, you listening? If you beat 30 of... Yeah, okay, whatever. <laughs> okay, how's that for hospitality? I got it. Go! I forgot to move my team around, but we're probably fine. Get in there! Get in there! You just got some little mushrooms? Get get in there? Okay, there we go. Like, I'm pressing R, they're not coming out. Yeah, I'm, I was having that same problem. Alright, Tinkaton, get over here and whatever the hell that is. What is that? That's, uh, your mom. It's like a, a little walking whale thing, I don't know. That's what he evolves into? Who? The, the Shrugal, this little guy? Oh. Okay, we're back to just, like, absolutely defeating these guys. Quagsire's evolved for. Oh! So Quagsire goes from standing up to laying down? The natural progression of everyone in life? Well, most Pokemon go from four paws to two. But that one goes to... You know what I'm trying to say. You Why mean he I goes from so quadruped weird? to biped? Yeah. It's Hello. taking forever for my, like, every time I hit R, I have to hit, like, 30 times. Yeah, my, I don't know if it's the switch or what, but it's moving, like, really slow. Cats especially are allowed to be on all fours. No, they gotta become Tony the Tiger. Especially not a cat Pokemon, exactly. It's the switch. <laughs> I'm lagging! Yeah, I'm 10 behind you because, like, I can only send one Pokemon out at a time. Oh, weird, yeah. God. I'll wait. And I'll continue eating candy out of the candy cup. How, how long do you think it's gonna take us to bully Nintendo into making stuff work? Maybe they gave up on the Switch because they're already making the next system and it'll be really good. We'll just think of it that way, right? I'm, I'm fine with them making handheld consoles, like, they kind of, like, that's, like, their thing, mm -hmm. you know? But what I really want is them to make one handheld and one regular one. Mm. They money hungry. Cause mm. I think they're trying to do both and doing neither well. Mm. We gotta get the boss! Oh, hey, Nels. Hello, Nels. That is a great question, and I feel like uh, take five is I was like the Reese's take five. Any variation of Reese's, honestly, I love it, but especially take fives are so good. Sh shiny OLD. Yeah, right. Oh, Nels, I so it's really funny on TikTok. I send my friend CMB TikToks all the time, but because you're the most recent person that I followed, you show up at the top of my list. So I keep accidentally almost sending you random crap. <laughs> Pray forgive my sudden entry. Tis I, Atticus. You're that scoundrel, Ronnie, I take it. You have some nerve bearing your fangs at Team Star. Come then, villainous wretch! 
A plunge into grim poison shall be your well-deserved fate. On guard! This guy really loves Shakespeare. You can tell. He's a big Shakespeare fan. Yeah. He's like, I love that Shakespeare. I want to see what he looks like under there. Show me! Ronnie's trying to take off Pokemon trainer's clothes. I need to know. Keep it in your pants. <laughs> Excuse me? Not but punishments awaits the wretch of plague on your house. See? See? He loves Shakespeare. Isn't it a she? No, the other one was a she. Yeah, the other one was a she. Time for the hammer? You dare sucker punch me? Certain moves can poison with the mere graze. Tremble, scoundrel, for thy Pokemon's sake. You should cosplay this trainer. I just love the way they talk. I just think it's so fun to read lines from people that have those kinds of, like, you You can hear the voice when you're yeah. reading it, right? You're like, I know what this person sounds like. One of the flashbacks. Okay, we mu I must not have noticed it. Not very effective! Okay, hold on. Maybe I will switch Pokemon? Let's go, Wednesday. I might have to make myself, like, more food. Are you- are you- you didn't finish your veggies. Or your rice. I mean, I ate most of both of them. Um... But yeah, I think I just, like, I'm, like, a lethargic because I ate a bagel and then slept and then ate dinner. Mm. What? I think I had, like, cat hair on my arms. Earlier, I kept feeling something weird, and a single grain of rice had fallen on my sleeve, and I was like, what's crawling at me, but it was just a grain <laughs> a of rice. A single grain of rice. That'd be a good band name. Yeah? Didn't have the crazy poison type outfit. I honestly, you know what Pokemon needs, too? I feel like we talk about what Pokemon needs all the time. They need the capability. I need to be able to dress my trainer like the way the other trainers are dressing. Like the other gym leaders and like these guys. Well, that's one of the ways they're saving time is not making a million outfits. Because they only you get think a year. To give me a taste of my own poison? Bye! To, to develop each game, you know? I miss what he said. Yeah. <laughs> Do I have anybody that's super effective? Just to really rub it in. I don't, so I guess we'll keep Wednesday out. Oop. We'll just go with some more fire banging. Saber's game is still tied. Poxy debris. Debris. Brother, 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 brother. Should make this our alarm. I mean, it would be a way- a hell of a way to wake up, that's for sure. Yo, this car's going down. It's about to overheat. Noxious Torque. Noxious Torque? That's what Love's Skull are called. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Alright, I've done it. Now we're just waiting on you. I like how I have this little speech bubble next to me for some reason. <laughs> I don't remember seeing that in the other fights. Forgive me, my friends. Alright, we're just- we're gonna wait for Ian to finish up. Got him. Got him! Get got! No, I just have to wait for the switch to catch up. <laughs> yeah, just give it a second to load what's actually happening. They're actually just doing lean with it, rock with it. I whip my hair back and forth. A year and a half. There they oh, are! there you go! Forgive me. It took a goodly time to procure the required materials. I'm like a full frame, like, like, <laughs> frame by you. Whoa, sick! These boots are insane! Ah, yes, the move flame charge was my muse for those particular pieces. This outfit is everything I imagined it would be. Thank you so much. I merely wish to create a costume worthy of your great infernal, Aerie. 
of the Great Infertile Area. If it aligns with your vision, then I am content. Seems our outfit upgrades are all wrapped up then. Thanks a ton, Atticus. With you two looking like absolute beasts, anyone who crosses us will be sweating bullets. You're so good at these sorts of crafty things, Atticus. Those people bullying you because you geek out over old-fashioned stuff are out of their minds. The way of the ninja is rough and fraught with thorns. I neither expect nor desire sympathy from the unrefined rabble. Oh, someone's getting fired up. Watch out, world. Our Atticus has fighting words. <laughs> he says, I bite my thumb at thee. I say I bite my thumb. Do you bite your thumb? Yes, sir, I bite my thumb, but not at thee. <laughs> yeah, don't listen to the haters, Atticus. I think you're really cool. All right, gang, let's move on to the next step. Time to put our backs into our battle training, so we're all prepped for Operation Star. Gotta be stronger than everyone else in the team. That's what being a boss means. Indeed it does. Henceforth, I shall, uh, I will devote myself, heart and soul, to honing my battle skills. I tried to make him more old-timey than he was at yeah. the time. <laughs> For the sake of the team, I would give my very heart and soul, but I cannot defy the rules. Our code must be obeyed. And so this badge is mine to keep no more. I entrust it to thy care. Thanks. Winking. Take this contraption, too. Contraption. It contains a technique that allows them to cover their foes in gunk. Alright. Okay, don't do anything cool. We'll just catch some Pokemon or We're something. We're gonna catch exclusively shinies. You have utterly bested me, but thy victory stirred no bitterness within me. Such was its brilliance. Don Atticus! My compadre. It seems this little fella has been dying to speak with you face to face. Don Atticus, please, hear what I have to say. I only need a moment. Whatever brought you all the way here? I came to help you. If you don't start going to class again, you'll be expelled from the academy, right? When the other kids at school and I were getting bullied real bad, you and the rest of Team Star saved us. Thanks to the operation you carried out, we were all able to go to school again. If you got expelled for being the good guys, that'd be the worst thing ever. Forgive me. Haven't you heard anything from the big boss? N nay, we've heard not a whisper since that fateful day. Without the big boss, Team Star cannot carry on. And without the team, the bright and merry student life we seek lies beyond our reach. We've no choice but to defend our bases till the big boss returns to us. You evidently trust this big boss of yours a great deal. Who exactly are they? In truth, not one of us has ever has met them in the flesh. By their word, they are recluse. As with the rest of us, twould seem bullying was to blame. That's awful. Though their name and face is unknown to us, they are nonetheless our precious comrade. Or our only choice is to maintain our vigils from the bases, awaiting the day of their return. So that's why you don't go to school. But, but still, don't ever think that Team Star is all you have, Don Atticus. You've got a lifelong compadre in me, you and don't you forget it. You've got a compadre it. in me. My compadre. You've got a compadre in me. I owe you a great debt. When the road looks rough ahead, and you're miles and miles from your psych czar's bed, you just remember what old Clive said, boy, you've got the compadre in me. They have friendships they old dear, and reasons for acting as they do. I just couldn't see it. It's shameful how oblivious I've been. Ha, uh, I believe Team Star to be the one and only treasure in my life. Methinks I may have been mistaken. Alright. So we've got defeat the leader, go to the lighthouse, complete the Pokedex. Yep. Elite four. Ronnie, it's me. Did you do it? Did you claim Atticus's star badge? Yep. Now that it's bought, now that it's boss been taken down, the Navi Squad's days are numbered. So Atticus was the last. All five squad bosses have now been toppled from their pedestals. I imagine they'll be leave Team Star before long. Now that they've lost their special positions, after that they should soon be back attending classes at the academy. This is all I would say in school announcement. 
Nice work out there, Ronnie. Zach Clive, I hear? Cassiopeia, well done to you too. Thanks. Now about your reward, Ronnie, I'll transfer some LP. Thanks. Can now make more kinds of TMs. Oh, that reminds me, I'm doing the whole supply unit rep thing this time, right? Indeed. You can go ahead and give Ronnie her bonus reward now. Okay. At long last, Operation Starfall has entered its final stage. There's only one thing left on the agenda. You must defeat the big boss and have Team Star disband for good. How, though? Don't worry, there's no need to search them out. The true identity of the big boss is none other than me. Obviously. Right? Obviously, if you didn't figure that out, I'm sorry. Didn't mean to keep it from you for so long, but the right moment never came. I'm the one who formed Team Star back then. The members of the team were my closest friends. And I treasured them more than anything. If they go on like this, Team Star won't do any good for anyone. They've got to give it up, so I'm using the code we made together to force them to disband. Ronnie, I'll be waiting for you in the schoolyard after dark. You should come as well, Clive. Understood. Then I'll see you both there. So Cassiopeia was the big boss of Team Star this whole time. I scarcely thought it possible. But with this revelation, I just might have an inkling as to their true identity. It seems we'll find our answers after dark in the Academy schoolyard. Let's prepare as best we can before heading over. We're allowed to be cool now. Well, nothing happened. We were just stuck in a cutscene yeah, the whole time we were gone, so I was just reading. I was just reading text the whole time. <laughs> 